Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in this in Scotland, better said Speyside, to be exact, Abalawa. Abalawa Distillery Exclusive. 13 years old, Orlolozo Sherry Cask, Speyside Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, one of 1,900 bottles. So I'm going to say a vatting of five sherry casks. This has bottle number 1,650, as I said, from 1,900, and um, 13 years old, 57.4%. Hand signed here by one of the tour guides, that's Karen, Karen Ward. Um, I had Nicola, and this is whiskey base number 118178. So, uh, at the end of March, I was in the Space Side. I visited 14 different distilleries in four days. <laughs> um, amazing. And one of them was Abalawa. Now, originally, I had planned to go there. Then I got the opportunity to go on the, the Balvini Experience. Only twice a week, I think it's offered. And at 3 o'clock, I was supposed to be there for three hours. And then at 12, I received a nice little email canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. I'm sitting in the park. I was sat, sitting in the parking lot of Glen Fockless going, OK, what now? And so I decided to go to Abalawa and say, hey. Mm. And I got I already had my ticket printed out and said, hey, I paid for this. And they said, no problem. You were supposed to be here in the morning. I had to change my schedule because of that and couldn't find anything else. No problem. So I got a tour all by myself. I had a wonderful tour, tour guide, Nicola. She is a tour guide slash um, she's actually learning to become a stillman. Stillman is a word she doesn't like to use. So it's a spirit technician. And um, it was excellent. All by ourselves, we walked through the distillery. She stopped using the standard tour guide phrases, and we just had a discussion about each and every step. We went even to the control room, worked with the computer, did things, and so on. It was actually just fantastic to understand the whole process. Abelor is owned by a French company. They make whiskey 24-7, 51 weeks a year. They only close down for a one week a year in order to do the repairs and the maintenance that is needed. But other than that, they're just pumping out that liquid as fast as they can. And 100% of the stock, according to Nicola, goes to single malt. The single malt whiskey um, for France, the one of the biggest countries for that, as well as the U.S. and also here for Germany. Now, as you can see, the bottle has the nice little UK um, tax stamp because I brought it from the, um, the distillery myself, 70 pounds, which equals out to about 90 some dollars. Now I'm going to compare it um, with a Abalawa um, Abudan, Abuduan, Abadu, Abadun, Abunad, Abunad. <laughs> I practiced, I forgot. Now this is batch number fifty-six. I do have a fifty. I do have a sixty-one and a sixty-two back there, but I, this has been open for a few months, and I just love this batch. This is so good. Um, we're at sixty-one point two percent. Excellent, excellent whiskey, by the way. If you can get your hands on a um, Abalawa. Um, Abadu, Ab, Ab, Abunda. Um, it's very, very good value for money. So, distillery exclusive, not hand filled. I didn't fill it myself. <sighs> very, very nice. I get a lot of like a walnut wood at the very beginning. Then I get a nice chocolate covered raisins. And then I get a little bit of the maltiness. And then I have dark plums. Nice, nice, nice. Over here. Deep, rich, dark flavors, a dark red, cherry moment. It's it's it covered in dark chocolate. Mmm. Um, Russell's chocolate covered raisins, liquefied. Mmm. All right, let's try this. We're at as I said. Um, 57.4%. I'm going to nip, put some water in there, and give you an evaluation.
Mm -hmm. The first thing that really, really surprises me is the amount of pepper, the amount of alcohol, the amount of burn in my mouth. If you gave this to me and said, hey, compare it blind, I would have said this is seven, eight years old. I tried this. I'm going to go. Mmm. Mmm. 15. This is the smooth. This is the rounded. This is the sweet. This is the soft. This is the nice one. This one, to use the word sometimes here from um, <clears throat> Bart from the Scotch Test Dummies, it slaps you in the face and you say, Give me some more. <laughs> And it really is good. This is much better, but this is good. Now, to be honest, um, I've already done what I what Ralphie always does. I played with a little bit, especially in my German video. And if you dilute it down to, let's say, 46%, I know you want cast strength, but this is actually a, like a nice, like a, like a dame. Uh, it's like a, a, a very, very nice lady. And it in its purity, it's just a little bit too strong. But if you dilute it down, as I said, let's go for about 46 or some percent, that alcohol dissipates, the flavors just come through, and it becomes a much, much more palatable and enjoyable whiskey, in my personal opinion. Even the nose, it's much softer and much rounder. It's without the water, it's a little bit of an alcohol pepper moment, and I don't want to have that in my whiskeys. At least not at the beginning. As I said, dried plums, uh, cherries, chocolate, even a little bit of like dried raspberries. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. The wood actually just kicks in there and really, really supports everything. The entire process um, is just an excellent moment of enjoyment. Now, what's not on here is it first fill Oroloso casks. Here we have bottled straight from the cask. Um, they're usually first filled. And um, that why, that's why it has a punch. Over here, I suspect this is a second fill, despite the color. I mean, look at this color. I mean, I, it's dark. It's like Coca-Cola. It's just beautifully, beautifully done. Um, and yet, it's still not as mature as I would have hoped and would have expected. After Nicola and I, we did our tour. We came to the tasting rooms of Abalawa. Beautiful, beautiful rooms. I can highly recommend the distillery. And they really have a nice um, eye touch um, um, for the optic, for the experience. And she brought out some beautiful glasses and had the whiskeys, all different glasses so I could try there. There was a 12-year-old, um, might have been a 14-year-old, I forgot, um, ex-bourbon cask. There was this, there was the, um, I think the 15-year-old you're going to get in, in France and something else. They were, she had a whole, just four beautiful, beautiful whiskeys, and one tasted better than the other, and this was the best of the day. And I must admit, this was a very, very nice buy. 70 pounds, 95 euros, uh, dollars, I'm sorry, not the problem. Um, question of the day before I give my review. If you were in the space side, not of all Scotland, just in the space side, and you got to pick one distillery to take home a distillery exclusive from, it could be a hand fill, it could be a distillery exclusive that they did for you, which distillery would it be? I actually picked Abelauer. They're the only distillery I brought something with. I got my Lot 40 cast strength, 11-year-old um, 2018 edition from Food Quick, and I had... 40 some samples that I brought with me and my weight limit was the over exceeded. I was allowed 20 kilos and I had 20.6 and I was like, oh, she said, ah, don't worry. I was like, oh, and I couldn't buy another bottle. I just couldn't fit it into my suitcase anymore. And so therefore it had to be decided. And I'd bought this and I was very, very, I am very, very happy with it. But which distillery from the space side would have you picked? Um, maybe Glenmore, Moray, maybe something else. Who knows? 
but I love this. This is so much better. Mmm. Mmm. And the thing that boggles my mind the most, 61.2%. Beautiful. Here, take it down to about 46, 48%. Not very nice. This is getting a B minus in my book. Value for money is a solid C. If you're at a distillery in Scotland, bring home as many hand-filled, as many dis distillery exclusives as you can. That's the magic of the moment. Having a bottle that you filled yourself, having a bottle you can only get there, is really, really, really what we want. For me, as a German, the sales tax and the alcohol tax is so high in Scotland, I'm paying a 20% premium on spirits in Scotland compared to the normal price here in Germany. Why would I buy something I can get in Germany? Buy the things that are only there, and that's the pop, that's the good thing. And they're so nice at the gift shop. That's also another reason just to go there. So, whiskey, Jason, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. B minus value, value for money, solid C. It's very, very nice. It's very, very good. But this is better. All right. So sorry to say so. Um, I did a bottle share. All the different shares are gone. The bottle will be filled up this evening, sent out to all the people who've already paid for that. And I really look forward to having other bottles I can share and also taste here in front of the camera. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American and German from Germany. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I produce my content. Always rare and exotic whiskeys. One of 1,900 bottles. Only available at the distillery. I think that counts. All right. Thank you very much for liking, for subscribing, and for telling other, others about this crazy guy over here in Europe tasting things you might never see ever again. Bye-bye.